hello everyone hello my beautiful and wonderful people hope you are all doing great welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be making puff puff a nigerian snack puff puff is one of the nigerian snacks that can be enjoyed at any time of the day morning afternoon evening any time of the day so to make this puff puff today we are using this i have here four cups of all purpose flour i have here well less than a cup of sugar but use sugar according to your taste i have here instant yeast i have about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg some salt and about three cups of warm water you can still use other flavors like uh, instead of nutmeg you can use cinnamon or you can join both of them you can equally use a um, vanilla essence sometimes i add those ones also and you can and you can add uh, some dry pepper if you want some people do that also here is the oil we'll be using for frying the frying is deep frying so i'm going to use all this quantity of oil and i'm using this pot so that the pot is a small pot so that i'm not it's not going to consume much oil so i use the pot i have here now my mixing bowl so what we're going to do now is to steal in the flour and all the other dry ingredients into this place Add in the add about a tablespoon of uh, the instant yeast. We'll add the sugar. Not going to add this one that has six. We mix everything together. Add the nutmeg, the salt. I want to add about two tablespoons of powdered milk. It is optional. I'm 
Mix everything together. We'll now start adding the warm water little by little. Keep adding the water little by little. Remember, it's just a warm water. Look warm water, not hot water. We are getting to where we are going to little by little or what we are aiming for. This is how I want it. The smoothness. I'll add it a little more water. I don't want it strong.
is okay like this. In all, I used about two and a half cups of water. I told you we had about three cups, so this is what is remaining in that three cups. So the next thing we'll do now is to seal or cover the, the bowl. If you don't have this, just use uh, um, some uh, napkin to wrap it. If you're using a bowl with cover, use the cover and also use napkin on it. So we'll wrap it like this. I'll also use some kitchen towel and cover it. And I'll now put it in a warm place. You can put it in your kitchen cupboard, oven or microwave. Anywhere you know that is warm in your house. You put it there and leave it there for about 40, 40 minutes to one hour. So I'm going to keep this now and leave it for about 40 minutes. The dough has been resting for about one hour now. So I decided to check it. You can see it. It's raising. That's the kind of double in size. The bowl, our bowl is almost full. And you see the bubbles on top that's to show that the yeast we use is very active what we'll do now is to use this spatula and press it down again it has deflated If you don't want it this light, don't add up to that two and a half cups of water. You can use two cups of water. The oil has also been heating here. I'm going to use this. This ice cream scoop. I don't like using my hand. You can also use this or any randish thing. You can use this. Dip it in water. And then scoop with it and drop in the oil. 